well, hello, Shulko. Thank you very much for accepting this invitation uh, oh. to this uh, cycle of different interviews with dancers and choreographers around the world from the Facurondo at the Buenos Aires University in Argentina. Um, I will introduce um, shortly uh, Shuko Kaseki. Uh, she's a Buto dancer, choreographer and teacher, a very prolific uh, artist based in Berlin since 1995. Uh, she studied Buto dance and performing art in um, HBK Braunschweig, uh, Hochschule für Dente Künste, uh, one of the biggest art schools in Germany. She studied there with her, uh, with um, her teacher, Anzu Furukawa, and she danced in her company too. In 1995, um, she founded the dance company Kokaseki with Mark Aids. Um, uh, you could visit uh, the website uh, kokaseki.com. There you will find uh, all the information. Uh, it is an assemble for performative research around dance, visual arts, and experimental music in live events and experimental theater. And the members come from different disciplines. Uh, Shuko with her solos or in collaboration with different projects she performed around the world. Uh, it's very long, the list of the countries. And she participated in numerous artistic residences and also she received uh, various awards and nominations as the best ensemble performance for Aim to Aim by the Isadora Duncan Award in 2004 in San Francisco, United States. Um, uh, Shuko, uh, first uh, I would love to ask you about your artistic path. Um, how and why did you come to Berlin and how the city and the German scene uh, changed your, your practice and, and your work? Uh, thank you very much for invitation and a great conversation with you. I'm very happy and mm -hmm. connect to the people, dancers in uh, all over the world. Yes. Yes. So I started dance when I'm in the 80s and um, I start studying my teacher, the Andrew Furukawa in Japan. And just I started because I was in Japan. I just know what I wanted to dance and then meet Anzu and she, she got the job she became professor in Germany, Braunschweig, another city. Um, so I just follow her. Yes, it was 91. Yes. Then I didn't think so long I would be here <laughs> as time passed. But so the beginning I was more, um, I never think about dancing, but somehow I interested about the uh, exploration of physicality and I did some uh, uh, what's it, like experimental theater but uh, I really want to dance in a way but I have no tool and I don't I feel like uh, I don't have arm and legs <laughs> then uh, I saw her performance and group performance and I went to the workshop and it was really big shock to me and um, even I didn't know so much about Buto, but somehow she opened my door to start to dance, digging what is a uh, possibility with my body. And they moved to Berlin. So I'm not so much about so the Buto dance in Japan. Mm -hmm. So also she, my teacher was more kind of like a avant-garde, avant Girl. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dance in a buto in a way. So she's uh, also some. She study also music. So very much. Uh, some performance really uh, choreographed with music, very strict way. Um, and in a way, like a Western style is strange to say, but some great mixture. So I really studied a lot, and then. Of course, when I moved to here, uh, the circumstances, especially moved to Berlin, so a lot of uh, people, very experimental way, 
and I start also changing about uh, rather than in Japan, you know, like a beauty is like really digging deeper and also like work about small edges and the refined and the aesthetic. But something here is more like a con maybe conceptual or seeing or you know, not so much about technique questions, a lot of about conception group idea. Idea is very important. And also social politic uh, view. So this, uh, this presence moment about society is reflecting, especially performing arts, uh, conceptual work, performance. So I'm very much influenced from that. Mm. Mm. Very connected what uh, you were saying. Um, how could you define your work, uh, like uh, from the beginning maybe of the Bhutto dance, but with all this mm -hmm. experimentation that you say, mm -hmm. uh, because it's if we compare with the traditional Bhutto that it's codified in an a specific aesthetic like for example the body is painted in white, your work really uh, that's an experimentation uh, different. Uh, how could you define your, um, mm. how do you understand the Bhutto uh, mm. today for you? Uh, but for me, so Bhutto is uh, not so long history and uh, we cannot say it's a traditional dance. And also like uh, this beginning with Tatsumi Hijikata and Kazuo Ono, they are experimenting themselves. Mm. So something built the uh, form, idea, then, then this has carried on as traditional in a way. Mm -hmm. So I'm really respecting the beginning part, how growing the, this personal, uh, personal, but some history of the person is growing to find the experiment, experimental expression form. So very, in a way, very radical uh, dance form. So this I uh, really is, uh, ex respect about this and uh, I want to be continue in this way. All right, interesting. Mm. And um, how, how is it for you to, to work with uh, artists uh, in collaboration with artists from mm. very different mm, disciplines? Mm. Mm. For me, it's really like a great exchange. I study, for example, musician. I, I do a lot of uh, improvisation, but they have a uh, very different senses, you know, hearing. And also, like uh, I study about their expression of the body is very special. You know? I that more functional body, but it's dancer often like really like how to be seen, and a lot of exploration to be seen, like more making, but their body is totally different because sound is an exploration and the body is maybe to say secondary but very honest mm -hmm. and then um, very very beautiful and also I work with uh, so-called uh, this uh, mixed ability people um, I work with uh, uh, the handicap theater group theater tikuba or uh, spastic performance uh, wheelchair performer and they are very different kind of movement and also awareness of relationship yeah to the people so I really study about this and I respect always respect and this experience may give me more layered Wow. And um, talking about um, how to think uh, the body um, re regarding the, the situation right now, the, the pandemic, um, mm -hmm. uh, what do you think how we can think uh, the body in, in this context, mm -hmm. to put it in question? I think, yeah, for everybody, very difficulties and uh, I was also like a March, April kind of depression because all the work projects is cancelled or postponed. Mm -hmm. And then 
really lost and but feel like you know like uh, this I want to just a routine in a way like a routine like I want to just go 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 and also recently like uh, these few years like uh, you know like project project I don't have so much time to think about myself or life so more like uh, just floating in the water or almost drowning <laughs> just go 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 <laughs> one after the other and this this routine is really blocked and uh, so of course I lost and uh, very confused but also it was really great time to breathe or even hear the breath <laughs> mm. how I breathe and starting I did because of the bo boring or I don't know lost lost for like an empty time so I start to clean the street and seeding or like uh, I, went, I started going to park, I told you, but I started going to park and training and uh, hear and see um, I feel more outside air, it's not in studio and uh, very basic things, you know, mm. I forget it. Um, for example, today I went to the training and there's so much rain and I wish <laughs> still we did the training under the tree and the raindrops and hear the sound and uh, uh, it's really our uh, childhood. We don't care about rain and uh, cold and uh, going out to praying. Something like a very basic, again, like uh, body memories wow. or this excitement of a sensation, this again, the gain. So one, one thing, yeah, the things are very difficult, economical, to kind of how we survive. This is a big, big question. But also, same time, it's like a benefit for, again, calm down and to be body to feel, or this local, like, uh, yes, also like uh, now so much people moving with airplane faster, faster, faster. But now, you know, walking neighbors and uh, like a bicycle, something discovering surrounding the minimum, minimum, but it's become a very big universe of the life. Yeah. That's so beautiful. <laughs> and uh, yeah, very beautiful. It's like, um, we feel that we cannot uh, connect as before, but in a way we are connected with ourselves different. Mm. Yes, yes, yes. And so I think like really this also in a way universal way, many people start interesting about, of course, nature is a uh, climate catastrophe. We are mm. talking and we know, but uh, but it was, you know, like, again, just the information, we are just busy. But now, like, I settle down, and we are calm, and the nature is growing, and we feel the power of the nature. And something like uh, one of the cycle we are mm -hmm. in, not we manage the things, and nature will manage things. We are part of this, and very much studying, <laughs> studying time. And uh, many, many people were really awareness about this and this is really networking connecting in the world i think yeah and uh Shoko, what, what do you think about um um this new relationship between the new technologies uh these new platforms and and the dance uh how was your experience uh teaching through zoom for example mm. or another platform yeah, so I really love to uh, do workshop and you know, of course uh, physically together with people. And then beginning I was kind of diffused. Oh, okay, I don't, I cannot. People start doing Zoom trading or no, I don't want to do. But then the, hmm, why not? <laughs> and I tried and the beginning was so difficult because I don't know how to relate to the people. But slowly, slowly, um, I start enjoy. I don't know how also can transfer the energy even even through monitor, but 
becomes impossible. And also this uh, energetic connection is maybe, if we think about this monitor and me, but uh, this through monitor, there is behind the connecting. So then, why, why not? <laughs> so we have to, in a way, adapt about the technology, but how, how was say like this, the monitor or whatever the things is uh, just a tool, but uh, through the tool, not drowning about using how to use a technology or becoming technology strange, but the technology is a part of your bone or flesh or like a, the world. So not drowning about the difficulties or more could be very rough, but something like just as a tool to using more deeper connection to the even distances. So big, big challenge, I think, but uh, also a lot of possibility and especially young people so easy, you know. <laughs> so I need to study more about how can more not be, be used uh, idea, more being, be, become, becoming, I don't know, strange, but uh, it's just uh, like uh, we start telephone, <laughs> you know, like old telephone. It's already the time is like very strange. So now we have many, many layers. So which, which things use? Anyway, the purpose is connection. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And and what was the, uh, what um, it surprised of this new uh, class atmosphere? Uh, um, what uh, surprised you the, the most in this new way to teach? Uh, A new way to teach? Sup surprise? I don't I don't surprise, but. Uh, I just, it's not surprise, just uh, because if I think of it, because I cannot see the people, you know, just small. Uh, uh. Mm -hmm. So I just need to trust. <laughs> nice. Yeah, <laughs> I need to trust and I just send <laughs> whatever, like uh, the ener energetic <laughs> or information of, through me. Yeah. Then hopefully this catching and bouncing back. <laughs> more, nice. More hope. <laughs> <laughs> nice. And uh, Shuko, um, I would love to ask you also about your current projects. Like um, mm -hmm. I'm seeing that here in Berlin, a lot of people is organizing things uh, open mm -hmm. air, uh, outdoors, or maybe using uh, hybrid formats. Um, what's, uh, what are your current projects and what do you think about these new ways? <laughs> mm. Yeah, so I, I did several uh, videos at home, in the home, and then um, give it to the organizer, they just showing. And I, that, it was also very difficult for me in the, in the room to dancing, but uh, just started and kind of I was fun about this limitation but still possibility. This was the first first steps for me. And then then the, yeah now upcoming project is uh now we are starting but August and September we will do public perform public uh theater performance. Mm -hmm. So, but still in Berlin, there's a limitation. Now the moment, like one theater only 30 people, and another theater only 20 people possible. So we have to, now, now we are starting rehearsal, but uh, we are trying to using also like uh, Zoom or streaming and uh, how we can combine about live performance and also like uh, sending to online is how how this is very interesting way like a mixture so we will do time by time mm -hmm. on 
So maybe update in the, this liveness or recording thing, recorded rehearsal footage, maybe put in a website. And something the process will really, really start to showing, not only the result, so more like a process to show. And through that, we want to find the tool and um, ex expression. Yeah, so a lot of question. And also, we, we don't want to do other like dance performance, more like a open platform. The many, many, this, this time the performance called Kant, Kant Ethics and the Squat Constellation. So a lot of female origin or power of the woman and also ground, energy of the ground. So uh, I want to also, uh, personally, I want to study from the many different women's records. Mm -hmm. Very each person has a very spe uh, special say, knowledge. Mm -hmm. I want to study and then like uh, this exchanging. Mm -hmm. And maybe this will bring to the some different kind of power and network and uh, empowerment of the peoples is not about uh, one one topic so maybe like you know many many people's ideas coming to one build like puzzling or, or like uh, carrying up together maybe some kind of uh, exploration but uh, I don't know now how it will be yeah. Yeah. So, do, do you think that this uh, new situation is uh, changing the way that uh, your practice and your work? Yes. So, since uh, maybe last year, the starting more about how the you know just uh, appearance of a dance form or theme not only but how what is the relationship people to people is really like an energetic connection so i want to search about this uh, secret <laughs> secret <laughs> yeah yeah still i um, feel like i'm still like stuck in my let's say, body you know so this another way to communicate also be, um, a moment i'm still start to stuck but uh, some very like a uh, basic what what our existence what what we meet each other yeah so not about the uh, a lot of thought and what want to be better to see or mm. or like uh, you know like uh, something digging into like a really like a meeting in a really spirit spiritual way maybe so for this and also we have so much trapped trap about our old maybe trauma or mm -hmm. some systems how we can this slowly slowly take off and then so healing is just easy to say but something like a new new way to meeting the people so this could be a i think dance or this performance is a great opportun opportunity to open up for everybody everybody yeah Nice. And um, to, just to, to, to end, to, to, mm. be, to be tempted, um, do you think uh, that, um, how do you experience, how do you feel this very tight connection between our intimacy and the open world that the new technologies uh, are giving us? Now mm. it's uh, curious, like, 
we have a, a class and we can see a little bit of the house of how the, that person lives. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. know, like yeah. <laughs> even yeah. we we try to have a good background. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. I was thinking, I'm a bit take off or something. Exactly. I have something there and I say, well, yeah. I don't know. How, yeah, do you, yeah. how, how do you feel this? Um, a little bit what you were saying, like we transmit energy and connection through the technology, but how is that, uh, how do you leave this connection between the, the very intimacy uh, place of the person and this open? <laughs> it's kind of very, very interesting. You know, like many people like a training, or I see that each person's, you know, how, how and uh, where living and, you know, like, uh, this or like sometimes like uh, if I see the parent or family of the person like uh, surprising, oh ah, you know, and the house now you can see the little bit about private private sphere, and then really very interesting and yeah, so we can let's say like uh, something touching more a little bit very yeah yeah it's a very interesting intimacy <laughs> relationship um they also now because of this uh, zoom and uh, people also youtube you know people like very lovely but very experimentally were explore ex, 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 exploring yeah explore, exploration so in very interesting time but something, ah, did you see the film about the, uh, uh, what's that film? Uh, I forget the name of the, the Japanese very low tech film, and uh, don't stop the camera, like one, one shot, one shot to die, I forget, very cheap film, but they are very, very, very cheap way to, make the film but so interesting made and uh, the, the the director made also in this quarantine time he made a zoom zoom video oh, wow. it's so cheap but so good <laughs> wow. so how we can use this uh, this me very simple tool to but then that more we need to have a uh, also improvise and uh, open mind, yeah. no? Mm. So I think a, a lot of open, another door is open, yeah. yeah. But also, yeah, really I'm looking forward to really meeting the people. And then maybe through this time, so we uh, start awareness about also desire and also another kind of sensitivity when we start meeting. I think the like, uh, exchanging meeting is much more different, I hope. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, yeah. Shuko, yeah. I don't know. Um, yeah, what, sorry? It's finished. <laughs> yeah, we can continue talking. You know? <laughs> ah, I'm not so good. Oh, sorry. Oh, no, no, it was beautiful. <laughs> really, really, really. Uh, you know, I'll maybe uh, we, you can tell us a little bit um, more about this uh, quant R evolution. R evolution. Uh, quant evolution. Yeah. 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 Yeah, the quant revolution, especially yeah, my my house in front, I can see the, from my window. There's a empty field, and then um, very trashy, but uh, like empty area ground. And then after there is a like horse field. It was a there was a horse. Um, actually, growing up, my Japan in my family had a cow mm. and I grew up with a cow and I have I know the smells of animals <laughs> and when I uh, move here and then 
then I smell sometimes and I hear in the morning, paka, 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 and I was like, uh, in, a, in the city, how is it possible? Yeah. And like, I thought I'd be become crazy. But then I recognize later, and it's a horse, it's a horse staple for the tourist wagon, you know. So they are here, and then the guy understand. Oh, and I was enjoyed sometimes they are going back. I think, but then because of Corona now, I think there's no tourist, and uh, I don't know the business maybe not going well or they moved and becoming the huge places empty, and. And then also the around there, then, then I start more watching around there. And also, especially I go to training and park and shop in the supermarket and coming back. My life was circled around this time. <laughs> and then I start to recognize so around this empty area is so people don't respect anything. So in trash everywhere and the uh, oh my God. And, and I really want to correct the trash, but also kind of strange shame or stopping why I should do it. And then I started with my friend, okay, performative, performative cleanup, and also wanted to, yeah, in the urban space, also why not, there's a ground, why not growing the edible vegetable or plants? for benefit for the free food <laughs> for the people. So this is the idea and we started to, we did some several performative cleaning and uh, sheathing. Now we are a little bit stopped, but it's also, also in Berlin, there's a area that's very divided. In Prenzlauerberg is very, Rich people, kind of rich people and young people. <laughs> yeah, and the Korean, then the wedding, my side is more immigrant, and also people throwing the trash, and also there's not so many cleaning. Maybe this, <laughs> the part is not so much money. And then this, this, I'm really wondering how we, where it comes, you know, this. Mm -hmm. uh, this don't care. My house, yeah, maybe my house clean, but other side doesn't matter. Yeah. So how we, our sphere is getting bigger. And here is outside, also even my space, and how we respect each other and also care. Yeah. This. Yes, this, uh, if we are busy, we don't recognize about this. And we just pass by, oh, that is sweet. And, yeah. But now we have so much time and I start to recognize. And I also like uh, the time of quarantine time, people are not so many people. It was less, you know, trash. But now mm -hmm. shop is open, starting people much more slow. And of course, throwing things all uh, Capitalize things, McDonald's and cheap, cheap food and eat cheap food and throwing very easy. You know, this circulation, how we can change. Um, it's a great time to think how we can again change. So we are part of the nature. We are not human and nature. Nature is a we. So. This is a project. <laughs> yeah, it's so yeah. interesting. So great. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I have to continue actually. Yeah. yeah but like... also, mm, also some people, you know, like I'm using the performative way, the excusing to do. But also I recognize the several people, you know, they don't ask anything. They do queen. Mm -hmm. You know, they are they are real hero, you know? So not like I uh, do, I do like I want to be also shown and uh, performative as a, as a big profession that I, I want to do something showing, but uh, there's a people, you know, that are just doing, oh, the, mm. the trash is not there, not get the medal or, you know, like a topic, anything. 
the I think this is a like a real human. Yeah. <laughs> human, human beauties and uh, uh, old old soul or what say uh, not waiting for the feeding back as a fame or something, you know, this so this is a this I want to see or I want to study more the human knowledge, human history of the person. Yes. Not big things but something daily maybe daily ritual for the person. Yes. Yes, I'm interested. So beautiful. Yeah, and I think that it, it helps a lot, like um, as you do it in a performative way because it's your profession, what you love. Uh, mm. It also helps to, to create conscious uh, mm. about that and in mm. what kind of spaces we are living, how we inhabit these mm. spaces. And, mm. Mm. Yeah, and it's, yeah. Um, but also, I saw this, you know, this anything could be a performance. And uh, yes, thank you for what you say about open the awareness. Yes. So maybe the performance is too for the, not about my technique and the beauty of the dance. My, it's more about the question and uh, mm awareness open the awareness and something tool for the connecting to the environment and the people yeah well well Shuko, thank you very much for the thank talk it was amazing <laughs>